Well, the High Plains Food Bank serves thousands of people all across the Panhandle in hopes to help end hunger. Well, they do more than just supply food to families in need. News Channel 10's Heather Geller is live in the studio with more on how many children are able to receive hot meals that they might miss out on if it wasn't for one program from the High Plains Food Bank. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. Well, this year marks 10 years since the High Plains Food Bank Kids Cafe started. Since then, more than a million meals have been served to children within just the Amarillo community. Meals many of these kids might go without. The truck arrives around 3.30. Already kids who have gotten out of class at the elementary school across the street from East Rick Baptist Church are ready for their meals. Soon the Mission Center will fill up with even more kids. Well, it varies between about 110 and 120 um, five days a week. Pastor Mike Garman says many of the kids in this neighborhood might not get another meal during the day, besides the ones that are served at school making the Kids Cafe something vital for these children. If we can provide them with a meal, then it's something less for someone else to have to worry about uh, getting them and getting them all the things that they need uh, as far as the nutritious meal. Meals are prepared at the Kids Cafe kitchen by three staff members and delivered to several locations throughout the city five days a week. Then volunteers serve the kids. Ten years ago when the program started, organizers never imagined how big it would grow. Didn't realize that there was that big of a need, um, but very happy that it has come this far. Well, Kids Cafe relies greatly on help from the community. You know, they only get part of their funding from the government. The rest, they rely on the community and things like our Together We Can Food Drive. The money from that will help the Kids Cafe out a little bit, but also a big help that they rely on is volunteers. Yeah, and right. when you and I, you were with me down there at East Ridge, East Ridge Baptist Church, mm -hmm. and we saw some of the volunteers out there, right? Well, and here's what was interesting yes. is that uh, Mr. Garman said, our volunteers are only required to come you know two times a month they come every single day yes they come I, every time I helped down there one time and um, it's very fulfilling yes. to see the look on the kids face there's like a thousand kids that come through there every single day Monday through Friday